Hello there and welcome to Where's my where's my bird? That's, you're not her. Oh, that's nice though. I'm gonna, I want to take that home with me. I invited, I, I invited my lady friend here and I can't find her. Anyone know where she is? She might have said no. Oh, god damn, I've lost her. Or maybe she said she'd meet me here. Oh, is that her? She's trying to escape? Hey you! You see my lady friend? Oh, it's a nice shirt, but I don't like you. What could have happened to her? Well, I may as well find more friends while I wait. They've got giant steering wheels. Oh god, Bill Gates doesn't look happy. Where the hell is she? She promised she'd be here. I'm all on my own. I look like an absolute asshole in the breeze right now. I'm just waiting. <gasps> There she is! I mean, I'm not surprised she forgot that she was supposed to come here the first time. Oh no, she's walked straight past me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not surprised that she seems a little bit ditzy and airheaded because, quite frankly, she is attracted to me, so. Well, Fred. So, what can you really say about that? I'll take it where I can get it. Do you like flies? I don't like flies. Flies are the worst. Yeah, I agree! That's how you get girlfriends, kids. Okay, well, I've got to impersonate a celebrity because that's his thing. If he doesn't do it, she's gonna be like, oh, this isn't working out. I'm gonna have to see other people. She'll start going on a date with the celebrity that he's impersonating. It's like, oh, it's just not the same. Hey, why don't, you, why don't you come over here with me and we'll go, oh, oh, let's go up to this observatory. It's romantic up here on this deck. I don't know if he's coming or not. I can just, I think I can hear the low rumblings of his voice as he laughs at his, his own jokes. Yeah, here he comes. Can you get out? No, there's no door. You can't get out. But now look. They're just both trapped up here. So, now that we're on our own, my love. Oh no, she's already lost interest. She's gone. She's long gone. Okay, well this this would have been a fun date, but hey, there's a computer. I wanted to steal it, ideally, but I think I'm just going to waste my date playing on Tetris. It's important that we have this date here, because at least we're not going to, like, just devolve into animals and start ripping each other's clothes off in a museum. If we date at our house, it's just going to turn into absolute madness. It's going to be like that bit in Event Horizon where they all come out the wormhole and like they watch the video of all the guys like ripping their own eyes out and shagging each other and laughing and punching their own heads off. We don't want an Event Horizon up in this bitch. We just want to have it. Woohoo in Lighthouse! Oh, I'm so sorry, everybody. I, I know I promised, but come on. Oh, she's going to say no, actually. She's going to say no. We have to, don't we? God, we've got to give it a try. <laughs> she's into it. Oh, my God. This is happening. Oh, well done, Freddy. Well done, the Fred Master. The Fred, the Fred boy. Freddington. Freddington Green. Fred! Oh, God, this is so good. Where is the lighthouse? I thought we were in it. I thought it was that big tower we were just in. What the, we used to have on a really long walk. Hey, do you fancy having like a really long walk up a hill and then having some <laughs> having some disappointing sex with a fat person at the top of it? Yes, yes, I would like that. Thank you. That's the conversation I imagine that went down when she was like fist pumping the air, going, "Yes, <laughs> can't wait." I like the walk as well. It's like we're not even walking together. It's just like, yeah. We're just gonna have sex when we get there. It's no big deal. God, I'm not sure I'm happy about this. I've actually fallen in love with her in real life. I don't think Fred's good enough. He won't treat her with respect like she deserves. Oh, oh, the camera's gone a bit strange. I'm not saying like I want to like just watch him do it. Obviously, I'm not a pervert, but like, I wonder. Yeah, you don't see anything in the lighthouse. They just go in there. I'll see if there's any sound. Holy shit! Oh my god, look at that! <laughs> they're making it go crazy. Oh man, I can I can actually. Imagine fully what they're doing just on the basis of that. <laughs> Loads of ships just off camera smashing into the rocks. <laughs> millions of sailors just perishing. Actually millions. <laughs> oh. That honking wasn't like... It wasn't like a romantic <laughs> sort of suggestion that they'd climaxed. It was an actual... Cruise liner just <laughs> sinking into the water with loads of civilians on board. Wow, what a day. Wow, what a day you've had, man. You're going to work, like, with no energy, but, I mean, that's just par for the course when you're as badass as you. <laughs> oh, he's pointing at his mouth, like, oh, I wish someone would want to put their titty in there, but nobody wants old Riggy. <laughs> no, he doesn't know. He doesn't know what's transpired today, and it's probably for the best, because it would just upset him. Well, come on, off you go, Frederick. Frederico of sex, that's what it is. You s absolutely stink of sweat and like bodily fluids. You seem to have frozen, like, are you okay? There's like the prospect of eating that salad just made you go, oh god, I just can't take it anymore, and you just got into an existential crisis. Oh no, he's eating the salad, okay. He was just having a rest from the salad. 
Okay, we've got a promotion for Frederick. What do we got? Oh, we got quite a bit of money from that. That's good. On $54 an hour. This is excellent news. Okay, I, pr I know I shouldn't do this. This actually takes away from the fun, but it's actually bugging me now to the degree where I think it's affecting the game. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. We allow Bert to train up his logic. It's the only thing I can think of that seems reasonable. But you know what? That's good, and they could, the brothers can spend a bit of time together. In fact, I'm going to give them something to look at while they, uh, while they contest a battle of wits. And I promise you, I will have Frederick win as often as humanly possible. Ah, of course, this copper pig! <laughs> it's very expensive, <laughs> but it's absolutely worth it. When the two great minds of this house clash together, they'll do it under the watchful eye of little Percy here. Oh, hang on, Percy Pig might be copyright infringement. P Pendril. Pen- I'll forget. I'll forget. Doesn't matter, we're not gonna name the pig. Tell a joke about penguins, quick. Hey, are you not gonna, like, ask him about the bra? Cause, look, uh, I would've mentioned it by now. Compliment outfit. Okay, yes. You know what, tell that joke about penguins again. It's been a while, I think he would've forgotten it by now. No, don't- don't piss about. Go on. Go play chess. No time to have fun. You're gonna get to level two, because if you do, you get promoted. Oh god, he's so ready. He's close. Grimley's just- Yes, give him words of encouragement. Oh no, he's just spinning. He's spinning to distract him. He's our enemy, he's not our friend. Oh, Jesus Christ, thank God. Now go to work. Go on, little man. Make daddy proud. No, seriously, go. Go now. Oh look, he did win. I told you he was gonna win. <laughs> oh no, he's just frozen in place. It's like he's having Vietnam flashbacks. Like this guitar is reminding him of like... Oh God, I remember Tibbs. And Jerry. And Gordon. And C C Craig. And Jegs. And Jegs as well. Poor sweet Jegs. They were in that tank when it went up. Oh, was it a tank? Was it a riverboat? Or was it a helicopter? I don't know. There were just so many disasters. He's still going, look. He's still... yeah. I'll just leave him to his uh, flashbacks. Here she comes. Oh my god. She's just the most beautiful woman in the world. Look at her chocolate vanilla hair. God, she makes me so hungry. I have to pause the game to get... Um, you know what? This is just filthy, but I'm just gonna... I'm gonna click on her ass, because the closest I'm ever gonna get to true love. Passionate kiss, okay. Oh. Do you wanna get some, like, McDonald's? Or, like, how do you feel about that? I just wanna eat you, baby! <laughs> oh, let's talk about me now. God, how long do we have to talk about you? Express admiration, but I think she knows. Oh! Take a step back, baby, because I've got something that's going to blow you away. I'm going to take a seat because I'm exhausted. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can totally understand that. Cupcake? Yeah, it's too many cupcakes. I like to I drive, ideally, rather than walk everywhere because I'm so tremendously fat. Okay, let's have these two have a meeting of the minds to see who is the greatest and best chess champion of them all. With Pendril watching over them with his piggy gaze. This is just a pre-match. Oh wow, no, she's not taking it. He was just like going, yes, this, this is the gentlemanly way to do the sport. A little bit of light banter. She's like, no, sh sh we're gonna play chess and we're gonna play it now. Okay, I had him throw the game because I felt like that was the gentlemanly thing to do. But now is a big moment. This is the next step in his master plan. He's gonna ask her to be his girlfriend. As soon as she's finished doing what she's doing. Okay, no, she's, got, she's finished. She's just, just checking. She's just checking to make sure she definitely won. Will you be my girlfriend? Let's go. He's building up to it. He's building up to it. He's building up to it. He's oh, there it is! Yeah! She's madly into that! Well done, man. Well done. You did what I could not. Ooh, speaking of which! Rigo has just found himself promoted to assistant manager and he's got himself a nice little pay raise. Have himself a celebratory shower as well, just to... Just to wash off the stink of failure, and he's gonna spray on the aftershave of, of, of success. That would have been better if I didn't mess it up, but I did. Okay, here we go, we've got a little event. A black tie affair. Hired to play piano for a private black tie event. That doesn't sound like Frederick, I thought he was like a stand-up comedian. Alright, okay. He gets himself into these crazy jams. That, he just must have said yes, and he didn't really know what he was saying yes to, and he got there and was like, <laughs> What am I like? So, Frederick forgets to pick up a tux at the rental shop. Well, of course he did. Why, well, he's a winger. He wings things. With no time left and limited options, he can either borrow one that's a little tight. They're all going to be tight, let's face it. Or dress down and hope no one notices. Oh, I think underdress sounds like our man. He'll just go in like his crop jeans and be like, yeah. I don't believe in your black tie events. I believe formality is just like a construct, yeah? And it's just there to separate the working class from the upper class, yeah? And I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm going to knock down that system and I'm going to wreck my own system, which coincidentally has me at the top. 
He's under dressing. Nothing happens. I love those, they're my favourite. Hey, do you want to do this thing where there's no stakes whatsoever? No. Oh, too bad. <laughs> do it anyway. Throw that away. And then throw that away. You don't do half the things I tell you to do and it's frustrating. These things are beginning to rebel against my orders. Okay, so I've accidentally ended up on one dollar in my bank account. Okay, I, I don't know how that's happened. <laughs> but it has, unfortunately. So we're just gonna have to live with it. Alright, so this feels like a real boys night in because Bert's got the day off and Freddy isn't at work for another ten hours. Be on the old night shift. So let's have these two guys do something fun together. Oh, that's right, yeah. He needs to actually organize that. To get, stop playing your chess game. I know I bought that for you because I knew it would make you happy, and it has, and I'm, you know, obviously delighted for you, but we have to go. Okay, I decided to take us to Papa Stone Park. Oh, Vivian actually came. I thought it might be a bit too early for her, but senior citizens, you know what they're like, they get up early. Crack of dawn. Not the only crack you're interested in, eh, is it, is it, Rigo? You got your eye on something else? Yeah, I thought I'd come here because it's the only community lot that we uh, haven't been to yet. There's an actual child here. Is she unattended? <laughs> She's looking for her parents. Hey, what the hell? Where? Where's my family? They wouldn't just abandon me. Oh, they have. There's no one here. Oh, God, that's dreadful. I'm so sorry this happened to you, little girl. We shouldn't be here. This is risky. He's laughing. He's saying, okay, I'm going to try and shag this bird, okay? You just gonna... You be my watchman. And he's like, that's actually wingman. He's like, yeah, no, but I call it watchman because I'm old and I don't know lingo that you kids use. Anyway, wish me luck. He's like, oh, God, I hope my brother goes balls deep. I'm just going to tweet this. That's actually exactly what just happened. So, Cupcake, how the devil are you? The cogs are turning. Gossip about office romances. See if she's got anyone lined up. I like what he's doing. Ah, kangaroo. Hang on a second, up here! I leave Frederick alone for literally 30 seconds and he's rooting through bins! Jesus, man! This is quite a nice area, actually. We should come here more often. Is that a fishing hole? I know what you're gonna be doing for the next X hours. Frogs. That's all. Police. There should be more police on the streets to patrol the frogs. No one's keeping an eye on the frogs. I've been saying this for years! He's gonna express some admiration. He's gonna do it despite the, just the onlooker. Imitate boss. But she won't know what that sounds like. Hang on a second. Just a small one. Just a little tiny small one. Just ask if she's single. She might not be. She might be married. But at her age, in all likelihood, she's a widow. Here we are. Here's the man. He's the fishing boy. <gasps> Vivian is single. Is anyone actually in a relationship in this game? Oh my god, they've gathered a crowd. He's, he's sweet. Okay, I was wrong. He's moved to... She is a... Will you stop talking about frogs? No one cares about your frog agenda. Christian Rasmus. Oh, Rasmussen. No. Rasmus, yes. Rasmussen. No. Go on. Get out of here, you little rascal. Caught anything yet? I don't think we have, have we? Just keep your eye out. Hey, what's this? It's not like a secret stash of fish. It is. That's actually what it is. Oh, he's caught something. Ah, oh, it's just some seaweed. Toss it back. No, don't toss it back. You'll just catch it again. Stop fishing. Go to the bathroom. Then come back. Oh, there's some clothes though, but you know what? You could actually use the exercise. Let's not pretend. Oh, hang on. Is that Vivian? Oh, she's just wandered off. I... Jesus. God damn your free will. Oh, no, she's running back. She's running back. Oh, now I'm... Oh, great. I don't believe this. You just completely lost interest and now you're getting up with this younger, more attractive woman. That's very disgusting behaviour, Rigo. You think you're an intellectual and a gentleman, but... Oh, this, this dude bro is absolutely mugging you off. Like, yes, yes. I'm sure what you're saying is hilarious, but I have no concept of, of the references you're using. Anyway, my dear. No, look, we came here with Vivian. Let's, uh... Let's keep things interesting. Let's talk about something that would drive everybody away. Corporate goons. It's his favourite subject. It's like the one piece of banter he has. And he's like, well, I'm just going to have to use it. It's all I've got. I saw that. Did you see the momentary glance from Frederick? He was like, oh, God, he's doing the corporate goon shtick again. I'm getting out of here. Look, I'm not messing about here. But when I first started this game, I thought, this will be funny. I'll have one really successful sim who has no right to be. And I'll have one really sensible, well-to-do sim, who go <laughs> life goes really badly for him. But look! He's attracted this crowd and everybody loves him. This is ridiculous. I tried to have it so he stayed on the bottom rung of the job ladder every step of the way, but it was just... He's just too good. It didn't work. And then he was never seen again. Oh shit, maybe he will never be seen again. He's been in there a while. Look at what's happened here. This is insane. 
Very slowly over the course of about an hour in game time. Hey, look, it's Butch Jansen, or whatever the hell he was called. What the hell is she doing? I think Vivian's actually a child catcher. She's just waiting. She's waiting. She's going to catch that kid as soon as it comes down. Look, the kid's terrified. Oh, God. We'll never see the conclusion. I hope that kid was okay. Here's the thing. <laughs> Do you think he's like, I have genuinely worked every single day since we started this game. Where is all our money? I'm not spending it. And like, Frederick's just sat there like, hmm, this book is very interesting. Did you hear what I said about the money? Hmm, yeah, no, but this, this chapter is, ooh. Oh, I've got to go out. I'll see you later. And have an intellectual discussion with the cat. Okay, I mean, that's not even, that's not even my conjecture. That's actually the game saying this cat is clever and you can talk to it. No, come off it. How come this has never come up before? Is he literally having a conversation about, like, pedestrianization? Oh, God, every single day with this bitch. I've fallen out of love pretty quickly. Okay, Frederick came home from work and he earned 270 So now we have $271. And although I would just spend it immediately, I think instead what I'm going to do is just send him to bed. We'll build up some money reserves because we should be getting some more bills soon. And the pair of them don't go to work tomorrow as well, so we have another day in which to waste. In fact, the two brothers can go on a little adventure and they'll be wingmen for each other. But how about we do all that next time in, in part five, I guess? Is that what that is? I don't know, I'm not counting. But we're going to call it a day for that. And uh, I just want to say thank you very much, everybody, for your continued support. I mean, if you got to episode this one, then, you know, you've been pretty loyal and I really do appreciate that. Thank you very much and uh, we'll catch back up with the Vulpus Lunges next time. See you later.